Yo guys, cheers for joining me today. Now, I have come over to Forest of Dean yet again and it's going to be a really fun session. It's about half one, so we've got plenty of light. It gets dark around five o'clock now, I think. A couple of my friends are up here, so hopefully we'll bump into them. But I've actually got a really specific thing I want to do with today's video. and I've been trying to work on my riding, whether it's the fitness of cycling up, which I absolutely just smashed the pedal up. But also, there's two really big factors that I want to focus on, and that is my breathing and where I'm actually looking on the trail. So we won't drag out this intro. Let's go do a lap and I'll discuss it as I ride down and see if if we can work on those two because I actually think they could help me quite a lot. All right, nice chill one to start. I'm going to take a couple real chillers just to get comfortable again instead of putting loads of pressure down. See how we get on. Oh, so sick. Whoa. Face right at that tree then. I think I'm on the wrong trail. It's a little bit more of a warm up. Got some cool features. Yo, yo, yo. What are you saying? Right, yo, man, how's it going? How you been? Yeah, good, man. Try and look properly in front of me. Yeah? Right, da, 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 da. Whoa! So sketch. Let's get it. Following minor. Take it steady, young'un. <laughs> Boy, it's greasy. Trying to look forward. Oh! Feet off the pedal. Oh, minor. Back tire all over the shop. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. There's some gnar. Still not looking far enough ahead. Oh. <laughs> Nice rut. Whew. Still trying to hold lines and look forward. Ah, straight into a tree, he says. anywhere closer to the van. Okay, so I just broken off with the guys and I'm gonna just go for a little lap and I wanna explain what I mean by where I look and how I breathe because you're probably like, what? So I've kind of noticed recently that when I ride, I'm not actually looking far enough ahead in front of me. And as I said, I have mentioned this before, but on a lot of tech stuff, like the stuff we're riding today, I have a habit of looking too close in front of me. So what happens is when big features come at me I'm not ready for them and that's why I get all jerky and slow down and you can see the difference because I know the trail center trails so well I find them a lot easier and I find them a lot easier simply just because I know where to look on the trail with this blind stuff I arguably don't know where to look so that makes it a little more tricky but I think I should be actively looking at what's coming up 
not what is already underneath me, if that makes sense. Blue skies back out. What a beautiful afternoon. But it's super tight. I think I might have ridden this one before. I'm trying to look forward. I have to like actively fight myself to look forward and breathe properly. Okay, we have ridden this one. Catch the video in the top right hand corner. Find it easier to adjust, whoa, blown out. Find it easier to adjust where I'm looking if I'm not following anyone. Super short little lap, nothing too crazy. Hopefully you can hear my breathing. I'm trying to be a bit more slow and steady with it. Nice. So basically, this is a good way of showing what I'm doing. When I'm riding, I'm looking at this stick down here, right here. What I want to be doing is looking at the green piece of shrub over there, the pine needles, and looking between the two. I think what I'm doing is looking really close in front of me and getting stuck on roots and stuff because I don't know what's coming at me. I think it's gonna be really hard to change the practice, but I think every ride, I just need to keep reminding myself to look forwards and maybe it will make a difference. Just had a lovely pair for a little break. Filled up my bottle. Let's go meet the dudes. I guess what I kind of mean when I say change my breathing is just to slow it down a little bit and get into a rhythm. Because before I would stop breathing for a feature and then start again and get thrown off. So I really want to try and get into the rhythm. As I said, it's not going to be an instant thing, but hopefully as I slowly go, along with my fitness as well, maybe it will come into one. Being fit will definitely help with my breathing as well, like being able to control it. But let's get Willie and Jake's trail. Yeehaw! Probably missed the entrance to the trail at the top. <laughs> I made my own line into it. <laughs> Mine are leading the way. Oh my god! <laughs> Just drop a couple gears. Whew. It's like trials. Still trying to look ahead. Looking ahead, trying to clock these trees before they're on me. Oh, oh my God. So close to all these trees. It's easier to look ahead on stuff like this when it's not that challenging. <laughs> you actually get lung burn at the end. <laughs> yeah, boy. This corner looks sick. Yeah, this is on the other side. Love the corners. <laughs> Try and overtake me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I literally just jumped out of the track. Catch them. On a trail, I don't know. Now I have to look ahead if I want to gain speed. Straight line. Oh, I'm missing it all out. <laughs> wow, this makes a huge difference. Oh my god, it's so fast. <laughs> huh. 
I would jump straight out the trail. Yeah, I heard you <laughs> Start recording, Luke. DJ Miner. What the hell, dude? <laughs> His back wheel. Oh, the tires squelch. Crap. So steezy. Chains off. Oh, what? It's back on. Me and Miner have both crashed on these corners. Just cut that one. Look forward. This is the one I crashed on. And then the one Miner crashed on. <laughs> Look forward. Steezy boy. Wrap. Oh, that is a big one. Whew. I can't tell if mine is about to come off or if he's just steezing. Yeah, boy, that was way sick. Way sick? Way. Yeah, boy. <laughs> hey, that was the best run I've had on that, yeah. Because I know it better, I can look forward. So good. That was sick.